So before we actually dive into organizing the uh, React Native project so it makes sense for us in the way we're building to accomplish our goals, I want to make sure we've got an understanding of the de defaults that we're getting when we you know, run React Native init new project. Um, and I'm just going to run through this. This is a basic uh, tree listing of what we get when we create a new React Native project. And first up, uh, we've got this Android directory. This is the directory where all of our native Android code is going to live. Um, if you dive in there, you'll find .gradle files, .java files, .xml files. Um, this would be the, the file that you, or the directory that you actually open up in something like Android Studio. Um, in reality, as, especially as time progresses and new tools come along, you'll rarely have to work in this Android uh, directory. And then next up is the actual uh, iOS directory. And the iOS directory is very much like the Android directory. Um, this is where all of our native iOS code is going to live. If you jump in there, you'll find um, your Xcode project. So this .xcode proj file. Um, you'll find things like .plist files, .h files, .m files, and so on. Um, so if you want to open up your project in Xcode, you'd actually go ahead into this iOS directory, and in this case, open up React Native Sample .xcode proj. Um, again, just like Android, you'll rarely have to work in this directory. And then next up, we've got our index.android.js and our index.ios.js. Um, both of these, they're the entry points into our application for the respective platforms. So index.android.js is our entry point for our Android application. Index.ios.js is going to be our entry point for our, our iOS application. So basically, uh, right now, if you look at, at those files after creating a new project, you'll see the exact same code, but duplicated in each file. And then finally, something that's not really shown here, but if you look at uh, the directory when you create a new file, you'll see you know things like node modules, uh, package.json, and a bunch of other files. Um, in reality, we're not really going to be touching those. Package.json and node modules, those are both uh, default node folders um, so or npm folder so we don't have to really worry about those and then everything else is just kind of configuration stuff for react native which isn't really um, of our concern at this point in our in our journey with react native 